Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this car battery tester and OBD2 diagnosis scanner. This is the brand name, the model number for it. I'll show some of the highlights printed on the back of the box here. Now this unit was sent to me for review. I said yes to it because it just so happens I've been having problems with my Acura TSX. It's, I charge it, but it still says, um, I still need to jump it every, every couple of days. Sure, I did not realize that this car's battery was from, this is December 2016, so I most likely bought it January or February of 2017. It makes it a good, almost four years old. First take off the packaging. The box is a little bit crushed. That's how it arrived, right in the envelope. So there's a little bit of damage to the box. No carrying pouch. Wow, that's a mini USB cable. Uh, I guess I can connect this to computers and pull information off. But still, it's a mini USB cable. Don't see many of those these days. Uh, this is the this is for testing the car battery. And the other end is the alligator clamps. Here's the user manual. Let me show some. Let me show some pages from the user manual here. So this works with all almost all cars starting from 1996 and newer. Uh, 12 volt batteries. There's actually quite a few options here. To read the codes, freeze it, check the emissions. And erase the codes if I wanted to too. And here's for battery testing. Looks like I just need to enter the uh, CCA, the co-cranking amps, then I can t start testing the battery. All right, then goes over the information again in German. So besides the alligator clamps that attaches to the OBD port here, Itself, emissions test, escape, directional. It's very straightforward. And for that mini USB cable, the port is right here on the bottom. I'm gonna first clamp this on here. The car is not powered on currently. Take a look at this together. Diagnostics, I'm gonna go to car battery, hit okay. In the vehicle, battery test. And turn lights on for about 10 seconds and turn off. seconds passed. I um, guess I just hit OK again. It's regular floodlights, the CCA. For this one it is 500. Alright, so it's supposed to be 500, but it's only measuring at 208. Yeah, I always have suspicion that there's something wrong with this battery. Well, it is old, so let me see what else I can play. What else do I see here? It 
So as I move the directional down here, the arrow here changes. Well, there are only two choices. All right, I'm gonna do an escape, do a car battery test again in the vehicle. Let's do a cranking test. Turn off the engine before processing OK. OK. Now start the engine. That's cranking low. The last test will be charging test. Increase the RPM to 2500 and keep it over 10 seconds. Press OK to continue. charging. Alright. here. Now let's go over the diagnostic functionality of the car's system here. The OBD port for this vehicle is right under the driver's side dashboard. So insert it in there. Once I do that, it powers up. I'm going to say diagnostic first. It's okay if there's X for some things. Not all cars have every diagnostic out there. I only check for everything there. Let's see. All right, there's no codes, which is expected. I didn't feel my last vehicle inspection. Read the codes. Currently, any codes? No. Pending codes? Nope, nothing pending. Great. Permanent codes. Nope, I don't need to record that right now. Um, if I had any codes and I already addressed it, then I can erase the codes. Let's check the emissions. All right, I'll pass all the ones that's important for my engine. I'm not sure what EVAP is though. Let's see what, what ECU 2 is. Alright. Check out data stream. So this is a, a live feed a live view of every sensor in this car right now. I think for those that want to do some tuning, maybe they can use this. In the past, there has been folks asking if you can check all the cylinders. The ultra sensor was always the first thing to fail. Once this pass, I'm good. Hmm. All right, I can test all my uh, cylinders if there's any misfires, or if I would just want to test the emissions, I just press this. Takes me right there. It's a very, it's essentially a shortcut. This is a good tester for cars because not only does it check 
the OBD2 codes, it can also check my car battery. And as I shown, this helped me basically confirm my suspicion that there's something wrong with my car battery. And that's the only thing I'll need to replace. This item was sent to me for review. I do like it. I'm not sure how much it cost, but I'll place a link to this item in my description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.